How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Crazy for KV's RC. Once again, I am Tim. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we got an update on Project Clydesdale. Our TRX4 pulling horse. Um, yeah, purpose of this is for tug of war, um, pulling competitions. Just something I can have on the shelf ready to go and I know it's going to be fairly competitive. So. For this update, you're going to see I put all my brass parts in the last episode I went over. I had basically the full suite of trill brass to put on this. Uh, this update, we're keeping with stock electronics, stock wheels, stock tires, stock drive shafts. People always rave, and I'm a believer of Traxxas plastics, and people rave about the TRX4 drive shafts and how durable they are. Well, I kind of want to see if we can twist one. Um, I got incision steel drive shafts on standby, ready to go, and they will go in in the third update video for this either way, but uh, I'm kind of hoping we break one just to see really what kind of force it takes. I was doing some reflecting on the, the idea of this video series and kind of the direction I maybe should have taken it, and I wish I would have bought a heavy duty fishing scale, something that can uh, weigh things up to 100 pounds or some sort of game scale just to see what kind of force this really pulls with. I think it would be a much more quantifiable metric rather than the the jerry rig sled that I have. The purpose of this video and future videos, we're going to continue with the sled just because it is what I set my baseline on. In the future, I'll try to do a better job of kind of forward thinking and uh, coming up with the best way to test progress or whatever. It's sometimes hard, especially when you get into rock crawlers, throttle control, different temperatures, you hit one rock slightly different, a millimeter different, it might mean the difference of, you know, getting the climb versus not. But without further ado, um, yeah, I'll show you guys the updates and you guys should see some B-roll footage here of the brass that we put on. And I do have some steel bumpers for this as well that we might try to make fit. Um, just to get some extra weight. Um, so there you saw the upgrades. Let's go outside to my garage. Let's get hooked up to the pulling sled and let's see what it can pull. So you guys can see, we got the same 3600 3S pack in there. Titan 21 turn motor, stock XL5. We got the sled hooked up. Let's get the body on. We're gonna put 13 pounds on it and let's see if it'll pull it. All next up, 16 pounds. If you remember right, last time it did not pull that 13. I think this is probably going to be our limit for the day. that is successful. Ooh, I smell something hot. Let's check it out. I imagine that ESC is quite warm after that. A lot of load. I don't have my temperature gun handy. Nothing smoking. I think we're going to stop there. I know I said that I was going to get one pound plates or one pounders. I don't think there's any point. It barely got that moving. And that's with the advantage of the rough concrete. Um, ESC's heat sink's pretty warm. Motor is cool. These wires, motor wires are a little warm. Nothing crazy. Um, no point in tearing it up if we don't have to. We'll go back to the workbench and we'll wrap this video up. All right, so we were just outside testing the first round of upgrades. That was basically the full suite of trail brass for the axles. Um, did all the upgrades. You guys saw uh, close-up shots of those upgrades. And 
Um, I actually failed to mention earlier that we gained almost two pounds to the truck. It's about nine pounds, no battery in it right now. Again, stock electronics, stock wheels and tires. And again, with those wheels and tires, that's no Vanquish wheel weights. And those are almost a pound. So we will be 10, probably 11 or 12 pounds with a battery in it, especially once I go to a big 4S pack. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what it can do once it starts to get up close to that 15 pound mark. Plan is not to stop once I hit that third round of upgrades. I will probably push pause on the series for a little bit, finish up the speedy build from RC Speedy, that C3 chassis, and we'll pick this up probably after the first of the year. So let's recap, what did it do? So, so on the baseline, you guys probably remember that I pulled that eight pound dumbbell very easily. So once I moved from that eight pound to the 13 pound total, you guys probably remember it barely moved and I decided to call it 12 pounds. I think it would have pulled 12 pounds just fine. And I actually made a promise in the last video that I did not follow through with. My apologies. I said I was gonna pick up some one pound weights to hit those one pound increments in between. Didn't happen and really wanted to get this video out. I don't think for this round, it's super imperative. I think as I start getting up towards uh, further iterations of the truck, that it will be important that I can really dial it in and give you guys a metric of what kind of progress we've seen. But as you guys just saw, this nine pound Bronco, as opposed to the seven pound Bronco, basically everything else is the same, was able to pull 16 pounds. And it took a little bit for it to get moving, but once it got moving, it pulled it decent. Um, I may have smoked my ESC, so we're gonna find out the next time I uh, get it outside for a test run, which should be shortly. You guys should be seeing that in the next few days. Um, we're just gonna throw the wheels and tires and those Vanquish wheel weights on it. Um, so it'll be well over that 10 pound mark and we'll do another test run. I'm gonna crank the preload on the shocks just to prevent any rubbing um, and we'll go from there. I do have a lift kit for this truck if I need to put it on and get some additional ground clearance just to clear those bigger wheels and tires. I can do that as well, but I would prefer not to. I want the center of gravity to be low. So yeah, 16 pounds is Pretty good, that's better than I thought we were gonna get. I thought we would be able to pull that 13 and then the next jump to the 16, I thought we would see it spin tires and not go anywhere. So I'm marking that up as a 25% gain, which is, is pretty good. Um, the, the upgrades were not cheap. There are cheaper options, I believe, for brass for this, but uh, pretty good bang for the buck. We ended up gaining a little more than 25%, but we also gained a right around 25% our pulling power. Now I was moving that sled around without the truck on it and dragging it with those dumbbells and it's actually pretty heavy. So I would be very interested and I may eventually go to a fishing or game scale and see what kind of force this is pulling with because I think it's with that drag of that sled on the concrete floor, I think it's quite a bit higher than 16 pounds. Appreciate you guys following along with Project Clydesdale um it's been fun uh i've been kind of racking my brain over um, what i can do after i do that electronics upgrade um, to take this to the next level uh, probably going to be some fabrication of a nicer hitch system a little more sturdy not hooked around a uh, plastic bumper possibly putting in some metal bumpers and then possibly fabrication of some sort of weight ballast that i can throw in this like I said, I'm really pushing for that 20 pound mark. I don't know if it's doable um, and feasible to keep inside the truck. Another way I'm, I'm thinking about doing it, keep an eye out future videos. I'm thinking about wiring up that ESC for two 4S batteries, but in parallel instead of in series. So still 4S, but I have two 7200 uh, 4S packs for my X-Max. And those are roughly a pound a piece. So that's some pretty good weight there right in the, that I could put right in the middle of the truck. And there's plenty of room because of the Bronco body. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for checking out Crazy for KB's RC. Once again, my name is Tim. 
Check out my Instagram, that's crazy. Number four, KVs underscore RC. Link down below. Put a couple of links of some of my favorite places to shop. No affiliates, no sponsors, just places I enjoy and where I get most of my RC products from. Um, thanks again for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, please, before you go, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.